Hi guys and girlies. So I'm in Brighton today. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to pop out and go get some food. It's like 11 o'clock at night, but I am hungry and I want some hot chicken babes. So I still got my drag makeup on. How amazing is it? Sorry, it's gone a bit because I was wearing a wig today. But how great is this? Um, oh, that light isn't good, is it? It makes you look quite old. <laughs> old drag. Oh my God, I love it. Absolutely love it. Shout out to Connor, babe. Shout out to Connor. He is absolutely amazing. I'll tag him in in the, in the, um, in the bottom, but let's go. Got my little top on, look. <laughs> I get tops like this. Right, hold on, let me make sure I got my purse, because we need money. We need money, babe. We need money. Yeah, so I'm in this, in this hotel, in the hotel room. A little ring light. <laughs> We're doing a little vlog on the bed in a minute. I'm on some OnlyFans stuff. Got my stuff. Oh yeah, this is this is me, right? I've got to show you this. This is this is me when I'm away. I have a bed. So <laughs> I have a bed so of rubbish. Everything on the floor. I've got my wand on the floor. <laughs> stuff in the bin. That's about right. Dildos in the bag. <laughs> yeah, so I've had I've had a client when I come back, so that's all cool. So um, I'm just gonna. Uh, I really do not disturb. Let's go. It's quite nice actually. So that's good. It's like quite, quite mild. Oh look, <laughs> big tip, babes. Right, I got to remember which way to go. Um, did I check the door? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. I love this makeup. That's why I still got it on. It's like so me. <laughs> oh, I think so I lost I've lost it all on my chin now. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I'm just touching this way. I'm so they've got like um signs. The room's okay, but it's like right at the bottom. So um it's an old style room, but it's really cheap. So I don't mind cheap hotels at all. I'm not, not one of those. We need a reception and lift. I'll use the stairs because I only did 30 minutes cardio today, so it's quite good to go. Da, 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 da. Can you use it? Oh, there I am. Hi. <laughs> so, so yeah, so I think I'm going the right way anyway. Hi, guys. Hi, uh, reception. Right. Right, let's go out them, babes. Let's go and get some food. And I've got, look, look at this. <laughs> I don't care. Bleach stain. That's right, I do clean at home. Got to. Hey, hon, good evening. He's nice. So, oh, thanks. Let's go and get some food. Yeah, so I'm just walking about now in Brighton. And we're just going to find some food places, babe. I really fancy some hot chicken. I keep putting my top down, it keeps riding up. Oh, there's a Sainsbury's over there. So... Let's go and see if we can even find anything. Maybe. Hey guys, do you know any um like kind of like I really want some hot chicken or something like yeah, that? Is RFC literally where you see the lights for that shop over there? The yeah. Road, yeah. Oh, that's brilliant. Thanks, guys. Cool, cool. So it's going on a little walk, which is great. Burn some calories so as well as having sex. <laughs> also awesome. I don't mind tits, but I need to stay at the bottom. <laughs> so, right. So I'm just going to get some hot chicken as well as dick. That's right. <laughs> oh no, stick in it. Stick or banana, babe. Stick or banana. That's right. So, they said there's a place over there of some hot chicken, babes. That's right. It's 
some hot chicken. What we got here though? Very Italian. She's walking through. I'm being all quiet now. They didn't like me, is it? What's that in there? Oh, I don't like Subway. Don't like it. Um, so we've got to walk over there. Really fancy some sweets as well. well that's a bit naughty, isn't it? Because, um, oops. <laughs> um, yeah, I really fancy some sweets. But I shouldn't because um, basically I should be dieting this week. <laughs> so yeah, like that's uh, actually being honest with you, I did have a few Harry Bow today. And I'd, I'll tell you more about it in a minute actually. Um, but yeah, it was um, really, really good. It was a podcast for All Right Darling, and that's what it was called. Um, and they are just such amazing people, honestly. I will say more about it when I get back because, but like, you're just following me getting hot chicken at the moment. I need some hot, hot chicken, baby. Oh, I think we can go. So, so yeah, it's been a really good day, and I got my makeup done. I'm so happy, and I've kept it on at the moment anyway. Um, I better cross this way and then cross, like, not stupid. Here we go. We can get some chicken. Oh my God, I can't wait. Be lush, 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 lush. Amazing. Hello, babes. Um, do you have any chicken fillets? Chicken? Fillet, you know, fillet. yeah, you know the, um, like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, can I get a... Uh, um, can I get um, five of those? Five. Yes, please. Uh, no, that's lovely. Oh, actually, can I get um, a water as well, please? Thank you. Sorry, Han? Yeah. Do you take card? No, let me have a look. Two sacks. Do you have this cash point? Oh, brilliant. Okay, I'll wait a minute. Fab, I'll go grab some money out. Let's go. Wait me a sack. If I know, here we go, babes. All right, cash point, babes. Doing money. Here we go. Let's wait for my cashy cash. <laughs> then back to get some hot chicken. Oh my god, I'm like so hungry. It's gonna be awesome. Going out on the town, I'm going to get some hot chicken. Hiya! Thank you. Awesome. Whew. Sorry? Oh, yeah, yeah, I've got that, yeah. Good hot chicken. <laughs> Here you are, Thank you very much. Thank you. 
Lovely. And get some fruit in a minute. Yeah, as I was saying, it's been really good today. So I travelled from Bristol. Um, yes, yeah, saw my boy today, and then travelled from Bristol, and um, then got up here about four o'clock. Yeah, just got to four, and then yeah, and then Connor did me up in this makeup, which is absolutely awesome, and. Um, Yes, and then we did, so we did the photo shoot first, and it was very, very, like, really glam, glam, and, oh my God, the whole team was absolutely amazing, absolutely amazing, I'm going to tag them all in, because they are just, like, I, every time I go to somewhere, like, where I get done up when I'm with, around drag people, gay people, and I'm, you know, I'm now I'm bisexual, you know, and I'm right there, and I just feel so welcomed, and it was just amazing. Oh, thank you very much, thank you. Oh my God. Right, let's put that in there, that's gonna go in my bag. So yeah, it was absolutely amazing, I'll talk more when I'm back, after I've had a bit of chicken. <laughs> awesome, right guys, I'm gonna walk on back now. So let's go. Right, I'm just gonna, gonna get some get some I need some almond milk. What else do I want? I don't want to go like biscuits and crap. I don't want that. What have we got here? Healthy snacks. What are those? Oh my god. Oh, I love glazed nuts. Have they got any honey ones? Oh, honey, almond and sesame seed. Oh my god. What are those? Hello. Honey almonds. Honey almonds, they look nice. Do you know what? I think I'm gonna get some of those. Do they have any um got spicy cashews? I really love cashews actually. Sorry. Right, I'm gonna get some of those. I've got some honey almonds. They look lush, babes. Honey almonds without me going balls deep. Because like, that's what I do. I go and I'll get like cookies and I'll get all crap and I don't want that. Uh, oh yes, Ribena. That'd be nice. And they're only like 15 calories each. Um, what else do I want? Oh, we want some barbecue sauce, don't we? Mm. Let's go with the ch chicken. Oh, we might go for... Oh, that looks nice. Barbecue sauce. Sauce and marinade. Lush. Hey, hun. Thank you very much, please, please. Uh. Sorry, I won't be a minute. <laughs> oh, we've got, I think I'll get some rainbow strips, yeah. Oh, and this almond milk, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Can I have a bag, please? Thank you. Thank you. 
is great, thank you. How are you this evening? Are you good? Yeah? Oh, you don't seem happy about yeah, work it. Yeah? I'm just tired. Oh, bless you. That is great, thank you. Lovely, thank you, sweet. Nothing, guys. So, on the way back now, my hot chicken bites. More people this way and probably get run over. <laughs> yeah, buses. <laughs> yeah, I was going to be run over by that bus. That's all good. <laughs> well, at least I had a nice little walk anyway for Corvair. It's nice. I love walking out at night time. It's so good. And I just, I feel so good in this makeup. I think this really could be like I could do a shirt. I'd love to be a um, you know a bisexual woman drag queen. <laughs> that would be amazing, wouldn't it? Yeah, love that. It's so pretty. Look at this. If I had a house, because I still rent at the moment, um, if I had a house, I wouldn't really want a big one. No, I'd uh, all all I want is like a small house with like three bedrooms, one for me, one for my son, because his bedroom's so small. And what I really want is like a really nice big bedroom for him. And then I'd like a little gym room, because um, I have my treadmill downstairs in my living room at the moment, and it's very, very small. Um, but hey, I can't complain, I've got a house over my head, you know? So that's the main thing. But yeah, it would be nice in order to buy. That'd be awesome. It will happen. <laughs> so, so yeah, so I'm just walking back now. It's really nice. I love, I just love it. I love walking out at night time. I did get some sweets, as you saw. So yeah, no, it's all good. <sighs> right, I'm back now. Go down and down. And get some food. Love my food. So I'll see you guys in a minute. <laughs> that was loads of barbecue. Oh my god. Right. I didn't think this thing was cooked to me. Oh, do I risk it? Ah, oh, such a shame. Okay, that bit seems cooked. It's like, do I risk it? <laughs> Starving. No need to see anything. It's all good. I went out for a walk, didn't I? <laughs> mm. So, on the milk. Because mm. I can't drink normal milk. Oh my God, my tummy goes so bad. So, I suffer really bad from my IBS. I don't know if any of you guys do, but I... I really do it's so bad i have to be really careful what i eat actually because uh yeah that's like the hardest chicken i've ever had i don't even know if i can eat it but i'm really hungry They would even sell it. Oh, oh no. 
And then when you're like that hungry. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see how that's how that's still pink? Ah, oh, so annoying. Oh well. Doesn't matter. Let's have a look at this piece. It's just like really chewy. So, oh my god, that's that's a bit that's not pink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so mm. So my stomach, oh my god. It suffers so so bad. Um like really bad from um any kind of milk products but i have to be really careful anyway because sometimes i make something that's all right me before and then it's just like oh my god just crap it's just like really really affects me and my tummy and then i just feel really ill and you know when you get that like bloated feeling you're like oh my god and and that's the thing with like doing the porn as well um, like sometimes I can eat for at least 24 hours um, if I'm going to do an anal scene. Um, so like for that, because for that you really, what well, I have to really prepare. So tomorrow I won't be eating. Mm. So about 12 o'clock, um, was I got a shoot with TVX on Thursday. So, um... So yeah, so that's good. Just better have that piece. That piece is mm, made okay. It's just dodgy, isn't it? Dodgy. Risking it. Um. So yeah, on um Thursday I've got that, which is gonna be actually it's two two bye guys, um which is absolutely great. Um, so I'm really really looking forward to that. It's something that I have um. Um, I've done it in my private life. I've done it in my private life, but I haven't done it on film yet. And um, it's something that I've really always wanted to do. So that's going to be another one off the list, which is absolutely awesome. Um, I don't have a physical list. I have it in my head. I'm like, oh my God, I want to do that. I want to do this. I want to do that. I want to do this. So, um, mm. Mm. so that's going to be really, really cool. Um, oh my god, that barbecue sauce. Ready, ready. That's what I just used. Got it from the shop. I won't use it all. Oh, I might take it home with me actually. Mm. So. Um, so yeah. That's going to be really good on Thursday. Yes, yeah, so going, sorry, going back to the IBS. I do think it's something in my head. Um, so I'm, and also, because I have to take a lot, of, so what will happen tomorrow, let's go back to the anal thing, uh, preparing for a shoot, so what will happen tomorrow, only for 24 hours, I'll also take, so I have a modium, so I've got some in my bag actually, ready for tomorrow, yeah, so I'll take this, like, because I've used it so much, I take, I take the whole packet, I take the whole packet and then I'll take another six in the evening. Um, so basically it hardens everything up. You won't get any kind of like, you know, juice or anything coming down. Do you know what? I've only learned that over the, like the past year. And what, what works for you? Because some girls, they can eat like, like right up, you know, until the actual point. But I can't, I can't. So this will, it's, um, I'll have breakfast tomorrow on it. I'm going to try and get, I'm going to go out for a run. Although I could have a late night tonight, so I've got loads of stuff to do. As I said, so yeah, what I've decided to do, I'm gonna put this blog out tonight. I'll go out tonight, but I'm not allowed to put the photo shoot bits out for two weeks. But I really want to get this one out tonight um, because it's like me and Brighton. Hi, um, and actually today, so. Mm, So yeah, so um, I let this one out, but it was absolutely amazing. Like I was saying, I went in. Everyone was so friendly. We just started chatting away, um, and um, it was yeah, it was absolutely wicked. And there's um, I will link all the um, the drag queens who were there. Absolutely wicked, lovely, lovely people. Um, Greg and the production guys 
I'll link their all their things in below as well. I mean, just lovely, lovely people. And then we have Connor who's doing our makeup. And um, yeah, we're over at the um, a university. So we did a whole photo shoot, as I was saying first. Um, and then, and it's really like, it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. It was really, really, oh, I'm glad I got these near the bed. Oh, I wonder why. No, I've got some wipes in the bed. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it was it was really, really wicked. Um, so, we got, we did th uh, four different outfits. Um, and the first one was, um, like, all black lingerie. So, we kind of kept that with, like, nipple tassels and everything. And, obviously, this makeup, and I had a massive wig. A massive, like, blonde out wig. And I was like... Oh yeah, Sophie Anderson in drag. Yeah, baby. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was absolutely awesome. So we did that for about an hour. We shot for about an hour, four different outfits, black, and then we had like a blue, a, oh a black and gold, and then we had like the real feather one with like a net over the face, and it so reminded me of Madonna. Oh my god, that Queen Madonna, amazing. And so it so reminded me of her. So that was like absolutely awesome. Um, and then we went and did the podcast. So we really talked about the whole kind of uh, like movement um, with like the cop destroyers and everything. Um, so we talked about that. And uh, oh, I'm just going to get my bright bean out in a minute. Um, so we talked about that. We talked about how I feel about it. And as I've said before, I think it brings us into... Um, I could get, oh, that's really nice, that one. Uh, I think what is done, and how I say for myself, and what, you know, what I think of the cot destroyers and everything, and actually I'll put that video, how, what it means to me. And it definitely, when we were talking about it today, it definitely means sexual freedom. Um, it really does. I mean, for me, being a bisexual woman, um, that's exactly what it means. It, it makes you powerful, you know? And how great is that as a human? Just to feel like totally, totally powerful as a person. And also, I think, you know, I think I, think I touched on this on the last... Um, on the last uh, vlog I was doing, was that it's... Um, I think for like depression and mental health and everything, if you're not living the life that you want to lead, that's really going to affect you. Um, I was saying like on the podcast there, I get loads of young people and maybe you guys who are watching now, like come to me and go, oh, you know, I'm, I'm gay and I can't come out to my parents and everything. I mean, I was very lucky that I've got a dad that, is like totally accepting of me he won't even you know he he knows that i go with guys and girls and transsexuals and he totally totally supports me and i'm very very lucky in that way but there are some guys and girls out there and it may be you that you can't come out to your parents and that will come to me you know i you can get to me on twitter i'm sophie anderson sophie a on twitter if you give me a little dm i um instagram i'm sophie anderson underscore sunshines on there um so come and hit me up guys and girls and um because i'd love to hear from you i really would and we can you know the whole um gay community as we were saying to gay today is it's just love it's just love and i and i absolutely love it so we did the podcast and everything and talking about cop destroyers where i want to go and all of this and um and yeah and i think like today this is like so last uh, uh, a shoot that i did before in drag it was um a very glam shoe and it's gonna be going um out uh in a magazine soon over the summer i've been told today so that's gonna be awesome so it's an amazing days magazine 
Um, so that's going to be absolutely wicked. And and in there, in that interview, it's like all about like cosmetic surgery. Am I happy and all of that? And I'm about body and I and um and about body. Sorry, we'll finish the sentence. So that's cool. Um, so I can't wait for that to come out. And and in that, I felt you know I really felt like Pammy, like Pamela Anderson. Um, I'm not gonna have any more of that chicken just in case and i've got people i've got to see tomorrow in my escort booking so i don't want to be stupid and eat that but it doesn't matter because i've got some honey nuts are they just honey ones yeah oh yeah honey nut almonds and i have a few of these they're not as nice fat and sweet but i want to have some sweets <laughs> i'll eat some sugar oh my god how do you mm. do you know what I usually have honey cashews, but honey almonds. Got more of a crunch to them. Better than the chicken. Go on. You know, I love my hot chicken. <laughs> so, so yeah, it was brilliant. Um, so, yeah, on the podcast, after we played this game, it was brilliant. It's like, what was it called? It was a something of humanity. I can't remember what it was called now. But it choose, so we all chose 10 cards, and that would be the ending of the black cards, which was, it would be like something, like one of the cards was um, my, my mum, Oh, the best one. I was just thinking the best one was it was like the vagina hole, and I was like, <laughs> no. <laughs> it was like so. It was like the curse of humanity, or something like that. So it's like really horrible cards. So it'd be like something, something, something at the start, um, and uh, there it would be your answer with another card, and it was really fun. Really from cracking up. So you can look through your card. Let's see what would be at the end. I had crap ones. Um, Greg was all sexual. And um, yeah, I swear I had rubbish ones. But one of the cards came out, and uh, it was like on there. Well, like, when I put the when I put this out to you guys in two weeks, it was like so. Like, oh, the mum um, taught her a five-year-old. And mum was like, um, she she led them into the shadow realm. I was like, the shadow realm? Doesn't that sound like, like Stranger Things? <laughs> no. So that was, that was funny. <laughs> it's really just so funny. Like, oh, my God, what's she on about? Like, it was really, really good. You don't, you don't know what you're going to put, you know, not, you don't know what the other person's going to say, I'm like, but on that, I thought, I was saying, well, why don't you put your YouTube as Sophie Anderson, the shadow realm, I'm like, that is totally yes, <laughs> these are so good, healthy snacks, oh, shoot nuts, glaze nuts, <laughs> right, I want to tell you as well. So, in the pictures and everything that we did today, my last one was two donuts. So I was like over there. <laughs> and Greg still at them. <laughs> the chocolate ones though. The chocolate rings. <laughs> one with those. So, so yeah. So I just, um, what I am going to put out on YouTube as well is um, my songs. So, I don't know if I've talked about this. So, I've been in the studio. Oh my God. Right. I'll just show you a little snippet. I think it's on here. No, it isn't. I will see. Let me see. 
Let me get that. I'll send it to the other one. And we're back in the room. Right. Uh, <laughs> right, I'll show you. Right. Okay, here we go. Here we go, babes. Right. <laughs> I love this. This is my dance track. This is the try you forget. Waiting for your call. That's the first bit, and then it go, and it'll go in, go in, and I can't give too much away at the minute. But oh my god, it'd be so awesome! I can't wait. Um, so I hope you guys and girls are good. I definitely want to do that um question answer one because I've got a cracking day today, and I will put in um. In two weeks' time, you just see a bit of the photo shoot and with my guys today. It's just because um, I can't put anything out yet because it's their podcast. All right, darling. So I don't want to you know, do anything to upset anyone. So it's good when it's a surprise, isn't it? You know, it's when it's someone's project. I think that's so wicked. So wicked. Um, And the idea is Greg had today... Just like with the looks he wanted, he was just amazing. And Kyle was in makeup, and I love you two drag queens are there. And I'm like, it's just, just amazing people, an amazing day to be honest. It's just absolutely amazing. So, what have I got to do tonight? Oh, um, oh, I've got all some clips for any fans. Um, of this is this YouTube video. Um, oh yeah, so I'm gonna get the songs on YouTube tonight as well. All my different songs because um, what I'm starting to do. So I'm doing the driving stick now with all the other songs. I've got my little um, what was it actually? Oh, I've got it in here. So I bought this. I know it's not fancy or anything, but I bought this writing pan. And this is where my songs are. Um, it's, it's funny, like, some of the songs as well. I, um, like, one song I wrote when I was feeling a little low. Um, so, but it's, it's funny, isn't it? So, I felt that was, like, a real rock song. Let me just bring you down. Hi, hi. Um, so that I and then I've got driving the deck. <laughs> oh yeah, and this one that I want is go like, boy, oh boy, I'm your teacher, so fuck me so right. We will fuck to the morning light. Fuck me hard and fuck the bum. <laughs> oh, I like to say that. <laughs> I just it's only like, it's not like you know. <laughs> so and it'll be like, boy, oh boy. Something like that, on that one. Oh, I just thought, wrote those, it's like, it's funny when I go back through this, right? Because I've like, wrote loads of like, things that could go in songs, like Awesome Badass, um, Knowing What Is To Come, Juices Spilling, I'm So Wet, Good Job, Touch Me, Taste Me, Craving For Dick. <laughs> so cool. Oh, what was that one? I it's amazing what I write down. <laughs> Make me scream, pull my hair. Let's let's go and do it anywhere. 
I'm coming for you to get your dick. Make me scream, pull my hair, let's do it anywhere. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, fine. I've got my driving stick. So I'll write that one out. Oh, I did want to, um, I want to fill you. It's so fun. So what I do then is, so with all my songs, I know this might not sound very professional, isn't it? But I'm only, like, I'm learning, like, the YouTube. I, I love learning. I love having different projects, you know? But for me, I have to, like, work on one. So I've worked on my Twitter for the past year. Then I've worked on Instagram, but Instagram's really, really funny because I was actually taken off it like a couple of weeks ago. Um, but I so I've done something I put on there. Luckily, um, lucky we got put back on because people helped me out. I was so lucky because I have quite a few followers on Instagram, but I have to be really careful because I am very wild um outgoing i have to be really careful with what, what i put on instagram so right pain really because i'm like instagram you're fucking restricting instagram you're restricting me you know i hate that i hate that i feel like you know those people that like, you shouldn't be like that <clears throat> that's what instagram is it's like you shouldn't be doing that yeah but i am so, all right, all right, I put my hands up. We're a bit too fucking wild for you. <laughs> so, I'm gonna fill you, my girl. Then I've got one going being me. Lovely, leave me, let me go. The power that I have, I need to show. I'm going to be the true me, so I'm packing and leaving, let me be. We fight, we shout, the tears roll down my face, because this feeling inside. Because this feeling inside, I cannot face. I'm lost and lonely and I've given up. You say I'm mentally totally fucked. I cannot bear this fucking room. The voices in my head just fucking loom. I want to be the best that I can be, but you're the one that's stopping me. <clears throat> and I got like a bridge. I'm going, I'm gone. That's it, I'm done. You cannot control me, you're fucking dumb. Verse three. And that'll probably repeat again. We'll see you when we get in the studio. I know there's something out there for me. Your love, I know, is not guaranteed. I try to conform to stick to your plan, but I got to live my life. This is my stand. <gasps> Sorry, I've just been... And I don't think I finished that one. Oh, that's the chorus. The lovely leave me, let me go. Yeah, and then I had a verse one. And then the, the verse two was the fight we shy. And then the verse, then a chorus, but love me, leave me, let me go. And this, i tell you what this song's about, is... I was thinking about all the people, you know, and um, me, like when I said before, how many years, I'm 31, how many years it's been until I felt comfortable with myself. Wow. <clears throat> wow. And being me, that one I wrote, because I was just thinking about my teenage years, but also all the messages that I get from teenagers who, um, and what I, what I was thinking, who basically can't, are not accepted. And I wrote that on the train. Um, I was just thinking about if I was like, Let's say when I was like, I actually left home very uh, young. I was a bit party girl then. But that isn't the case for this song. <laughs> I was just actually thinking about someone who, you know, couldn't, doesn't want to conform, who's gay or, 
you know, doesn't conform to the normal. And I was just thinking about how them young and like leaving home and going see you later, you know. And that's what that song was about. But then I go on to another page and it's totally something different. It's about like a large stick. <laughs> yeah. Funny when you look at things, isn't it? That you've, do you ever find like, if you ever wrote a, di a diary and you're like, oh my God, um, the, the stuff that you wrote, because I tell you what, when I was, so it must have been when I was 17, 16, 16, 16, um, when I was doing my first year of performing arts, I wrote a diary. Actually, it might have been even the year before. And I have a look in there about, like, what like, my problems were there and, you know, about all different things. And when I looked back at it, I think I got rid of it, actually. It'd be, I actually, if I find it, it might even be in the shed at home. But if I find it, I am gonna, I am gonna read it out to you guys because it's so funny. What I was thinking about then, I look and I'm like, oh my god, that's, that was me, and that was like my problems then. Actually, I don't do a diary now. Oh yeah, um, it's like I don't have the time. Being honest, like I'm, I'm like, you know, in the day I'm like doing physical stuff, like either doing shoots or porn shoots or. Um, escorting, um, so I'm, I'm doing that, like, today, I was literally, like, racing, racing, racing here, luckily, it was only, the, um, uni was only, like, 15 minutes away, so I got here and saw a client, and that's, uh, that was all fine, um, I, a bit of a, I don't want to lose any of my, um, any of my songs, do I? <laughs> right, let's put this in where it should. Funny though, yeah, I was looking back at my diary, and if any of you guys keep your diaries, right? Because I just think it's absolutely brilliant when you read back and you think, when you go back and you think, oh my god, um, I can't be believe I even wrote that, you know, and yeah, it's just amazing, it's amazing. I'm just trying to put this, where have I put this? Was that maybe the whole? Yeah, that might have been the whole song. That's fine. That's in there now, that's in. Yeah, so I've got a few things to do and then I've got update. I have like a site. Um, so I have a site like called Adult Work. Um, basically on there, what it is, it's a, like a whole directory of kind of like um, escorts and webcam and all of that type of thing um um i think you do phone chat on there as well i never have the time for that um but it's a really good little platform that you can have a kind of advertise on there put pictures on that um and all that type of thing so um yeah it's, it's all good so i just got to do some updates on there as well um uh, what else have I got to do? Yeah, just update, update things. You got thing is, I just find I'm like always, always update. So, like I said, in the day I'm really busy physically, so I get up. I usually could do a bit of exercise uh, if I can. Like, like I said today, I needed half an hour. At least I went out for a walk then. That was nice. Um, yeah, and then on the night time, it's like whoa. Right now, I've got to do all the admin side of things. So I don't really sleep that. So what is the time now? Uh, oh, dead on 12. So I'm probably not going to be going to sleep till about 2. Um, I'll probably get up around about 6. Or something like that. So I'm going to take my makeup off in a minute. I don't want to though. I don't want to. I love it. So like I was saying, maybe like... Um, so I've just started doing burlesque and it's amazing and i really love to do like stuff with fire and everything and i think it's always good to learn something um because it could take you in like a totally different direction that you run at, like you like oh my god and i'd really love to do like stage things in the future like more of it i really would 
so um yeah be absolutely amazing i'm definitely having a little more touch actually do you know what i feel really full now i think i'm just gonna have this water i've got a bit of a headache so mm. every time that i've got headaches i never i try and never take tablets really actually the only time I ever, ever take tablets is when I get my periods and that. Um, and do you know what? Since I was 30, my periods have been super, super bad. Like, really, really bad. I don't know if you, any of you girlies get it, but oh my God. Um, I used to get them quite bad. So I actually didn't start my periods until late. So this is a bit of girl talk. So um, I didn't actually start my periods until, oh my God, I was... I must have been about 16, 17, I think. Never had regular ones because when I was younger, so I was overweight for quite a long time. Um, and then, then I lost a load of weight. So when I went into um, second year of secondary school, first, second year of secondary school, I then didn't eat. And uh, I, was, I was anorexic for quite a long time. And that sticks with you. I don't know any of you like older guys or girls. Um, it sticks with you. And I still find it now hard to eat in front of people. Um, so, so yeah, I, I remember asking my dad, oh my God, and I think about it when I go, I go, dad. So at the time I was living in Bradford Haven in Wiltshire and i was going through this anorexic stage like basically trying at the table to like tip my food into my lap in a serviette all of that type of thing and um you know again it's just trying it's conforming again like trying to conform to what people want you to be and actually i had a real um um kind of addiction to um like what, magazines and everything like that you know like you see <sighs> with skinny girls and all that and then um then i read like stories on like bulimia and all that and how to do it like it, like not how to do it because actually i didn't there wasn't really much internet around <gasps> oh, 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 much internet around um but no it wasn't like widely you know i had like the old kind of brick phone and everything uh so yeah so i really got i bought like normal magazines and in there they'd say that are bulimia stories and, that, and i was like I'm, like addicted to like doing that and if i even eat like and, and i remember saying to my dad i said dad i said dad and i remember and he was in the kitchen when i lived in bradford because that's where i went to school i say i went to school bradford Haven. that was great performing arts school at the time that was like awesome for me wasn't it <laughs> so um and the, him in the kitchen and we were living with um my stepmom at the time um and uh, i remember dad dad i said does water have any calories in it and i, I was like really worried about it i was like does water have any calories because i was like going what am i eating and and really actually that stuck through um when i went um to uh, then do my performing arts and everything and I'd be swimming every day and I had to do a hundred lengths in the pool so I think I said on my last one about my OCD well that was the time because I needed something that I was in control of uh, so I was very OCD I had to tap it I had to do a hundred lengths if I didn't I'd go mental um so and um so I remember having like one bread roll and maybe an apple a day sometimes i cut out the bread roll at that time i didn't know about like carbs and everything like that carbs proteins you know it wasn't until my kind of bodybuilding stage which i'll talk about in a separate one the fitness and bodybuilder um actually i'm going to write that down just give me two minutes i'm going to write that down um and i will show you some pictures of me when i was bodybuilding and you wouldn't believe you wouldn't believe it was me <laughs> but it's funny these different stages we go through in life but yeah so i had to do like 100 lengths in the pool i had to do it i had to do cardio and then i was going like doing my performing singing uh when i was in bath city college um so yeah i remember doing this um this like presentation you had to do something that um it was like a showcase of stuff you've been through in your life 
and I felt I, I was always a forward to when I when I was doing my acting I was very intense in my acting um and that's what I loved you know I love and I still do I love Anthony Hopkins I love Christian Bale um yeah they're awesome aren't they they're awesome and I really love actors and actresses who are they just take on the role and they're really intense anyway that's what i was like and um i remember doing this um presentation myself and it was all about so i had i remember having these i'd just be painting on the floor i didn't say a word throughout the whole thing not a word i wanted it all done with like me being and showing rather than any sort of words so i'd write so, and I remember my own M, and that was mum and dad, and I ripped it. That's because mum and dad split up. I think it does affect you. It does affect you. Um, so I remember doing that, and then I did this thing, like looking in the mirror and like, like seeing, oh, you know, oh, you know, and and checking, like I was looking into a mirror, like me being, um, like skin, I'm not skinny enough, you know. And I remember the teachers there, they were quite concerned after that. I was like, no, no, it's absolutely fine. But really, that's what was going on in my head. And like, uh, like my parents are split up, God, when I was like five. Um, so, but it's, it's so funny how things like, affect you, even when you get older. <clears throat> and uh, bless my dad. So my dad, um, just quickly talking about that. My dad was the one who raised me and my sister. Um, which is absolutely awesome. He could have gone and done and, and gone away and, you know, he left us and everything like that, but he didn't. Um, so yeah, he raised two girls. <laughs> I mean, oh my God, seriously, like two girls, especially in their teens and that, I mean, fair play. And what me and my sister, um, you know, how we are and everything like that and how I am. I'm like, oh my God, but poor dad. <laughs> no, but he's great. He's great. And um yeah, I have a I have a really great family actually. Very very like understanding of who I am because I am pretty different. I am pretty wild and I don't like to fucking play the rules, you know. <laughs> no, but I don't hurt anyone or anything like that. It's just like actually my sexuality is such a big thing to me and being who like I want to be and and it's just really important isn't it you know and I think also for my fucking headspace is I have to do what I want to do um you know like I said as long as it doesn't hurt anyone or affect anyone in a bad way that's that's the main thing for me anyway you know because I am a very caring and loving person and maybe a bit too much sometimes. Maybe I care a bit too much. <laughs> Actually, that's, that was the thing we were talking about today on the podcast was like negativity. And, um, you know, because it kind of like being bullied when I was younger. And um, even now, when people write things on Twitter all that you know they don't agree with what i'm doing or you know they don't like me and that and i, I said so you know what it's always good to turn something around like because i would never ever ever write anything bad about anyone i just wouldn't and because i think everybody has their own opinion i don't think that you should force opinions on anyone um but just fucking let people live their life how they want to live, you know, as long as they're not hurting anyone. So, that is the best. Oh my God, I love it. Thank you. It's so lovely. Um, so yeah, as long as you're not hurting anyone or anything. And I was saying, if someone puts something negative, I'll always write something positive back because what can they, what can they say then? And, um, I won't say about the whole podcast because there's the same there's so much in there. So um yeah. I thought I'm gonna end it here because what's the time now? If I blabbered on for another eleven minutes, guys. Eleven minutes blabbing on. So yeah, again, babe. So um comment down below and subscribe.
stream if you want to um because there's plenty more coming out um and i know these these all these these couple of ones have been a bit talky and everything but you will be coming with me tomorrow um so tomorrow so today is wednesday the 26th of june and tomorrow i have got a radio show that i've got in brighton so that's what i'm doing here for the next couple of days um and then going back tomorrow night um yeah so that's all cool and yeah i'm just really happy so i'm going to take my makeup off now i've got to do those bits like i said and then i've got a shoot thursday and then off to dublin friday for the weekend so all exciting and all on the go um so yeah and i love you guys and girls and comment down below subscribe yeah and you can see more of me <laughs> and what i'm getting up to so sophie anderson's shadow realm <laughs> this is what it'll be sophie anderson the shadow realm <laughs> right guys and girls love i'm gonna love you and leave you and uh catch you later